According to the Community Director sketch, we will be receiving a high level update within a few weeks when it comes to Halo Infinite. So what exactly does that mean? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this and it greatly helps out the video and channel. So let's get right into it. Many of us, as probably as in everybody, has been very thirsty for some Halo Infinite news. Ever since the recent armor coating debacle really that came from that, we've been kind of radio silent about anything but Halo Infinite. And we've been getting some promotional content, so we've been able to kind of fish out some stuff from 343, like the challenge system coming back in Halo Infinite, as well as the coding system that we'll be having. But after that, it's been pretty quiet. And so recently, Sketch went on Reddit to reply to a comment on their weekly thread that they have on Reddit, because there's been some recent rumors going around about some video game awards reveals kind of stuff going on there as stuff does happen at the video game awards when it comes to announcements and promotional materials and things like that. So I'll read the reply from Sketch to kind of clear up any kind of confusions of exactly what's going on and then we'll break it down exactly what we can expect from what he says within this quick little post. Right now, we're still going through the huge cascade of implications and ramifications to the release shift, and the team is heads down working through nearly every facet of the game. Full disclosure, we don't have anything planned for the VGAs, but we're hoping to offer at least a high level update within the next few weeks so we can kind of restart this journey together after the holidays. Pulling something together like a demo or a big beat for the VGAs is an enormous amount of work that would cause challenges with the current milestones of the holidays. I know it's hard to wait, but the team is going to make the most out of this extra time and we want to make sure we can put our best foot forward and commit to greater transparency and dialogue on the road ahead. We'll get there and get the train going again. Now this is pretty much what I expected to have happened. I wasn't really expecting anything from the VGAs. I was hoping something for the November 10th release date celebration stream that they did. They only talked about the MCC there. They didn't even think, I don't even think they even said the word Halo Infinite. Um, within the entire stream. And for the VGAs, for that to be like a big game announcement, I wouldn't expect it. I mean, there might be like some kind of you know, promotional cinematic thing like we saw for the announcement of the name of the Xbox Series X and stuff like that. Uh, that's at most, I would say, probably not even that. Uh, this is pretty much what I expected though, is because with the release date being pushed back, the game has been completely overviewed of what they can do, what they can't do, and what can they add, what they need to take out. You know, there's there's so much going in with this game. This is the largest Halo game that's ever been created in the history of Halo. So that's why it's such a huge anticipation for this game to come out. It's the largest open, most open world campaign we ever had. I'm assuming probably the most expansive multiplayer we've ever had with, you know, 120 FPS and free to play. We've heard that Forge is the greatest that it's ever been. And on top of that, probably theater mode, maybe some firefighting, some brand new mode that that's never been made that, you know, probably it's a console seller kind of mode, or maybe even the battle royale mode being created. We don't even know. Xbox insider leaker kind of dude who's rather credible and we've cited him multiple times on this channel guys, Clobro did say that the game is more or less content complete and they're really just kind of working on technical issues. Which to me sounds very hopeful because I would really hate to see them just trying to rework everything in the game and hopefully still trying to release it within 2021. I would hope that at this point the game would be so far along where they're really just trying to fix things up a bit. And from what we saw in the gameplay trailer, that would line up properly because it seemed like the world is there, the guns are there, the enemy types are there, uh, the art style is there, like everything's there. It's just that we weren't really too happy with the functionality of the game because we saw a lot of pop in textures, pop in lighting, just going out of the menu system. And it really just kind of needed a little bit more polish behind it to make it feel more like a next gen game that would be the console seller for the Xbox Series X. So when Sketch mentions a high level update, what can we actually expect to see within that? Well, I'm assuming kind of something similar to what we've seen previously in these other blog updates. If you check out the most recent one that came out after the release of the, or the day of the release of the gameplay trailer, you can kind of see just general stuff that they're talking about when it comes to the game, like 
you get to see the banished they talked about them they talk about the open world at like experience of halo infinite uh talking about the various characters especially uh, the pilot as well talking about him uh, the slip space engine now they definitely will need to talk more about this because i think our main issue with the re recent game reveal was the slip space engine and its inability to keep up with the game we saw a lot of pop in textures and geometry and lighting and just overall just i think it just needed some more polish i mean they mentioned here packing 10 times the amount of processing per pixel which it's from what we saw it looks like they might have tried packing in 11 times because uh, it doesn't really look super well. Uh, they talk about building a like, PC community, so I imagine how with this recent blog update, how they're going to be talking about working with the community to try to push this game forward to make sure it's a game that all fans would like. They do mention about the flighting process here in this blog update. I would assume that we, we need, you need to get at least some kind of an update with that because uh, the last time we heard about this, they said that it looks like it's not going to happen uh, due to the recent uh, pandemic situation within the world. Though with the pushback of the release date, we could possibly see a flighting or anything, a beta. I would expect more kind of like a one-off promotional beta kind of stress test thing that we get quite often with Call of Duties. And so I wouldn't expect a full-on flighting process like we see with the MTC, but something more just kind of like an early access, play the game, test out the systems, and if there's any glaring flaws, uh, 343 can hopefully fix it before the release of the game. And that's about all we really get. Uh, I would assume that we'd also get some more information about, like, saying uh, Chris Lee's departure as well, and how uh, Joe Staten and Pierre Hintz filling in for him, and how their roles are kind of defined as well. We've kind of seen some kind of drama about that. I would hope to see some more information about the uh, challenge system that's coming in with Halo Infinite that we know is confirmed from toy leaks and uh, candy bars and stuff like that, and it's, as well as the coding system as well. I think we definitely need some more information on that because what we got from that recent blog post about the armor coding system is seen to get a much more of a negative impact to the community rather than a positive thing because they removed the primary secondary colors, which is something we've had in Halo really ever since Halo 2 when they brought in the secondary color. But you've always been able to choose your colors. Looks like not so much with this game. So they need really need to showcase why this new system is better. So I think that's what they mean by high level as in just kind of overarching kind of stuff that they're talking about, what's going on, at least a little update. I wouldn't expect a idea of a time frame of a release date or anything. So they might kind of give us some you know tidbits of information that kind of would lead towards maybe you know either a spring or a fall release date which is what i would expect for halo infinite we recently did have phil spencer on an interview recently say that you know halo infinite would kind of fall more in line with a fall 2021 release though it does look like the competition for shooters is gonna be pretty stiff right there as a, you know there's gonna be a new call of duty there's most likely gonna be a new battlefield game coming out and on top of that halo infinite for your shooters, that's going to be pretty tough. Halo really did kind of drop the ball missing the 2020 deadline for shooters because right now there really is just Call of Duty, which that happens every year. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, why don't you just release a new demo? We want to see some gameplay. And like they mentioned here that creating a demo or a gameplay kind of reveal would sidetrack the team for what they're trying to accomplish so much that it actually would delay the game even more, which kind of makes sense. Uh, we've seen this previously like with Halo 2's development when they made that E3 demo, they focused their entire efforts on making that E3 demo look awesome. And then afterwards, they're like, we have to throw out everything and start from scratch again. Does suck for me as a content creator. I need something new to show besides the two uh, 2018, 2019, and 2020 demos on my videos. I need some more content, man. So I think very similar to what the MCC was like, it's ready when it's ready. And I think we'll just have to wait a few more weeks to get that update. Once that update does come out, guys, you guarantee I'll let you know the day of the when that information comes out on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, guys, to keep yourself updated with all the stuff going on with Halo. If you missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right over here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos if you've been on the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.